They say that the body is a creature of habit. You wake up, you eat breakfast, you go to class, you eat lunch, you go back to class, you eat dinner, you fiddle around with nothing. You go to bed and the whole process starts again. Every day your life as a college student starts by waking up to the horrendous sound of the same alarm clock going off at the same inconvenient time. You constantly press the snooze button, but the additional seconds of sleep do nothing to cover the fact that you're waking up way too early than you should be. The days of all college students are the same, with classes, meals, and sleep. However, the spaces in between those activities is what concerns people the most. What verbs or nouns you fill in the blanks is entirely up to you. In all that talk about what you're going to do between those classes, the term freshman 15 is bound to be brought up. The verbs you fill in the blanks dictate whether or not you get that dreaded muffin top that even bakers can't bear to look at. The nutritionist stress diet and exercise. But come on, we're college students. Are they serious? They say they should be active for at least 30 minutes every day. You should follow the food pyramid's strict guidelines of food intake. 6 to 11 servings of grains and wheat. 3 to 5 servings of vegetables and fruits. 2 to 3 servings of meat and dairy. But who actually follows that crap anyway? Junk food always tastes better and it is so much more satisfying than some piece of root that someone dug up from the ground. But once in a while you run into those people that follow the strict diets of fruits, vegetables, grains, and lean meats along with exercising regularly. Yeah, I'm one of those salad eating, ground jogging, low fat, decaf, soy milk, latte, Californians that seem to piss off every red state in the nation. Doctors stress the ability for you to find ways to get your cardio in. Take the stairs instead of the elevator, you burn more calories that way. Spend more time walking, you can get your exercise and then walk to class instead of taking the bus or the cab. And if you can, go to the gym and hop on the treadmill or the bike. I've been lifting f weights for four years now, and it seems like my body isn't even getting bigger. Sometimes I even dread making the trip going to the gym, doing the exercises that I hate doing. I ask myself countless times, what is the point of doing all this when you don't even see results? But I guess you say it's a necessary evil that you must do in order to stay in shape. But what exactly is being in shape? Isn't everyone in shape? Maybe a little rounder at some edges, but you're still in shape. I find it hard to believe that one person can be in more in shape than the other because he's got less curves. It's really quite easy, honestly. You do your sitting around, I'll do my cardio. In the end, we're both in shape. I still can't think of a good answer to people on why I can't just have one cookie or just one piece of a chicken nugget. I can't give you a good answer. I wish I could just grab that french fry or that glass of Pepsi, but there's something that just holds me back. Maybe it's the fact that I don't want to turn out to be one of the 9 million young Americans who are overweight, or the half a million who die each year from heart disease. But come on, one freaking french fry won't do that. As Derek Zoolander said, maybe there's more to life than being just really, really, really ridiculously good looking. Yeah, all the running and weightlifting might improve your physique, but I don't know if that will result in you being happier than with yourself than if you didn't do that stuff at all. I'm sure there are thousands of people out there who don't do half the cardio they're supposed to and still enjoy themselves. Even with all the lifting, eating right, and running, I feel like I can always do more. I'm never that quite satisfied with my body. I can always do that one extra workout or take off one more gram of fat. See, see? Even if I do all the effort to avoid the freshman 15, my attitude towards my body is the same as those who are gaining weight, unhappy, unsatisfied. So, we're all quite the same. But isn't college about one thing? The process of bettering ourselves so we can one day take a step into the real world and kick some corporate ass? Isn't that more important than how you look? The whole weight gaining thing, I guess, is just dumb and overrated. Eat what you want. Do what you want, and if you gain 15 pounds, whatever, everyone does, we'll get over it. So lay off on being so anal about how I stay healthy. I'll gain weight my own way. I'll bust out those protein shakes.